release of more video and new information. A big question is, what does this mean for the criminal case? Defense attorney Art Horn is with us now to help us understand this all a little bit better. Thanks for joining us tonight, Art. So does the release of this video change the dynamics of the criminal cases at all, especially considering the potential jury pool is only now learning about what's in the recent released video? I, I, think, it, I, I think it just goes to show you the snowball effect of uh, one, once, once these, the lies started in this case, um, as you, you see from the beginning of the stop uh, till the death of Tyree Nichols, uh, it's just a snowball of lies. And what you're seeing is that snowball coming down to the bottom of the hill and busting open. And so what, what we're doing and, and what people around are doing, and they're going to be able to dissect the lies of these officers. The other thing that struck me as, as very odd was it's almost like they're trying to make themselves believe the stories that they're telling um, on video. And so it, it's just the, the, whole, the entire thing is, is very sad. But um, if I'm a defense lawyer looking at some of these videos, it's, it's very uh, disheartening. And, 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 and I'm looking to try to just do a plea deal. This is not a case that I want to go to trial on. Yeah, I think that's uh, segueing perfectly into our next question. We're kind of seeing the different accounts here from each officer or at least hearing their different stories. So we've already seen one officer, Desmond Mills, plead guilty to state and federal charges. Four other officers face those same charges. Now, could this new video influence the others to make a plea deal like you mentioned? If, I, if, if I'm the, the defense attorney, and, and obviously it would depend on who I was representing, but if I'm involved, I'm trying to work something out um, for my client, uh, something in the best interest of my client. The, again, it, it's a, it's, this case is a mess. These officers are a mess. And, and you're, what you're seeing is officers that were not negligent, were, were negligently supervised who were allowed to do whatever they wanted to do. And they weren't ready for something like this or didn't expect something like this to happen. And the aftermath is just, it's just horrible. I mean, it's just absolutely horrible and disgusting. I think a lot of our viewers feel the same way about all of this right now. Art, thank you for joining us tonight. We're going to ask you to stick around for our newscast at 6 so we can dive deeper into the implications for the $550 million civil lawsuit that the city's facing right now. Thanks a lot, Art. All right.